So what we have here is the Spider 4 Pro. It's an advanced monitor calibration system. And as any middle school philosopher king uh, might tell you, how do I know that the red you see is the red I see? But a more practical question for the digital artist is, how do I know that the hex value my computer is outputting is the same that my monitor is outputting? And this is going to do just that. It's going to, uh, through its software, send a particular color and then read it with this uh, calibration monitor um, mechanism here and make sure that those two values line up that they jibe so your system requirements windows xp 32 or 64 bit same thing with vista and window win 7 sports mac os x 10.4 or higher and then your monitor resolution has to be 1024 by 768 or greater. And of course, if you're a digital artist, uh, you're going to have to have a resolution higher than that anyways. So that's really not of any concern. In the box, we're going to find the Spider 4 Pro color colorimeter, the desktop cradle with tripod mounts, the software C CD for those of you with uh, legacy hardware, quick start guide and the warranty card. So let's open it up and see what's in the box. Or reopen it up, obviously I've already opened this up, so this is a re-unboxing. So here's the colorimeter, colorometer itself. It's a bit of a mess packing and unpacking this. Standard USB there. And basically what we're going to be doing is we're going to be holding the sensor up to the monitor. Uh, and it's going to be reading the color information from the monitor and making sure that it's the same as what the software is outputting. And these are going to be lights telling you uh, what's happening and when it's finished doing what it should be doing. So there's that, and you want to keep this dust free, of course. So here's the cradle. Nice thank you notes in several languages. Here's the, it's kind of a comparison chart. Um, here's the Spider 4 Elite, the 4 Pro, which is what I have, and the 4 Express. And again, the benefits of the Pro over the Express are that it does multiple monitors. Here's the software with a serial number and uh, you know you really should just download the latest version from the uh, website just forego the CD installation process and then here we have the quick start guide for getting you quickly started looks like an ad for setting up a, an account at zenfolio.com and silica gel, silica gel, which you should not eat. All right, so I'm going to get my laptop started and put this to the test. So here we start up the Data Color Spider 4 Pro software and the first screen it shows us is a curious activation screen. It says, please make sure your spider sensor is plugged into your USB port before continuing. It only takes a few moments to activate your copy of Spider 4 Pro. Activision, activation ensures that you have a genuine copy of the software. Why anybody would be bootlegging the software is beyond me as, you know, it's uh, completely useless without the hardware. So unless you're counterfeiting your own Spider 4 Pro hardware, you have no use for the software. So this is quite puzzling. Uh, but let's go ahead and plug that in. Make sure the internet is on. You can see it's installing device driver software, supposedly. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So we're going to go to 
Oh, looks like it worked this time. So some questions about sending information, that sort of thing. Checking for updates. So this wizard will guide you through the calibration process. There's a checklist we have to go through. Have you allowed your display to warm up for a half hour? I haven't, but for demonstration purposes I'm going to say I have. Lighting conditions. Have you checked that no intense light is falling directly on your display screen? Yes. Display controls. Have you reset your monitor settings? Reset contrast to default settings. Set the color temperature control to blah 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 blah. For the uh, for a laptop, that's not always viable. Spider connection. Plug the spider into a computer USB port, port, not into a hub or keyboard. Okay. And next. And we're to choose from LCD, CRT, or laptop. Not sure who makes this monitor with the, it's an MSI laptop. That's not to say that they make the monitor. And I really have no way of knowing at this point who makes the monitor. So standard monitor types, generic PNP, Next. So, here's where it gets interesting. I'm going to need a little more slack here. So this part here I think just serves as a counterweight. Placing your color colorimeter there. So again, the issue is that the computer is sending objective color values to the monitor. Uh, but the monitor is displaying that color information subjectively and it's subjected to a wide variety of factors. The first of which, which is um, what you have inputted into your monitor, how you yourself has, have calibrated in terms of color, hue, saturation, contrast, brightness, that sort of thing. And then it's also subjected to time. So over time your color profile will change. Um, <clears throat> So you want to run this maybe once every two weeks to make sure that uh, the color pro profile hasn't fallen too far off the mark. And what it's doing now is the software is sending objective values that it knows to be true and the colorimeter is observing those values uh, and calculating the difference and then changing the uh, monitor dis display until the information that the colorimeter is receiving is the same as what is being sent out from the software. One thing I should mention that I neglected to do was make sure that uh, you know the your monitor doesn't dim as a result of uh, you know inactivity because that's going to throw off uh, the calibration. It's not part of the checklist on the software at startup, but it really should be. So this whole process takes about five minutes to complete. Measuring completed. We're going to remove that. And click finish. We're going to save the profile and the reminder to rerun this program once every two weeks and next so this is going to demonstrate um, how the monitor looked before and after the calibration process 
and you can see the uncalibrated view uh, before it was calibrated much much worse than after calibration I mean the the difference really is quite dramatic and startling before awful after very nice it's almost as if you have a brand new monitor before awful after very nice so a few other things here's the cradle now you'll notice that uh, I put it in the cradle it really does nothing to protect the sensor there from um, dust or debris or anything of the sort so I'm not sure why like why they would cut that part out there by defeating that functionality um, who knows maybe there's something I'm missing here uh, but what I'm going to do is repackage it to make sure that uh, no dust or debris gets in there and affects the reading of any sort alright so once again Spider 4 Pro uh, colorimeter by data color uh, very useful works as advertised worth the money if you're a digital artist uh, highly recommend the purchase of this thank you bye